welcome to this episode of We the People coming to you from Mumbai. As Maharashtra gets a new government and a new BJP chief minister, much of the political analysis has focused on the rise of the BJP and the decimation of the Congress. Under discussed in this election has been the successful debut performance of the Hyderabad based MIM party led by the OAC brothers. A party that is a Muslim party offering itself as an option to mostly Muslim voters. At a time when even the Shiv Sena has been forced to readapt itself to a more modern template, why has this party that represents identity politics risen in the way that it has? Asaduddin Oasi, the leader of the MIM, is now saying that the next target will be Uttar Pradesh's Muslims, clearly with the MIM setting its eyes on the national stage. Is this the Muslim right mirroring the Hindu right? Let's look at the numbers. They may not sound like too much. The MIM only won two seats, but these were two of the 24 it contested. It finished second in three seats and a respectable third in six others. What does it signify? Does it mean that the failure of Congress and the NCP, parties that have always offered themselves as a secular option, is something that these parties now need to take seriously? Or does it mean that identity politics is not on the decline in the way that one has often assumed in the aftermath of elections? I'd like to start with the BJP and the Congress. China, at a time when uh, the BJP has said, or Mr. Modi has said, that his politics is all about development, there are still critics of the BJP who would argue that in a way the Hindu right has created the space for the Muslim right, that the MIM is actually a mirror image of ultra-right wing outfits that are on this side of the political spectrum. Does it signify something that we need to be concerned about? I think we need to understand at the outset that we haven't played any divisive card at all. We had a star campaigner in Narendra Modi who was extremely charismatic in his individual uh, persona. We had a very committed cadre and we had a state leadership that only talked about development, stability and getting rid of the corrupt Congress NCP. If you want to analyze as to why the MIM won two seats or what were the permutation combinations, it's important to understand that in few constituencies where you had five contenders fighting, there was a division of vote. Yeah. In that division of vote, if one or two stray seats, they win. I wouldn't want to attribute that as a public sentiment of the people of Maharashtra. Sanjay, this is really a wake-up call for parties like the Congress and the NCP. The Congress especially positioned itself as the kind of de facto option for Muslim voters. Muslims have argued again and again that we are not a monolith, do not take our vote for granted. It also puts a question mark on the place of secularism in the political debate because your distinguishing feature from China sitting next to you is my party is more secular. Well, the minorities of Maharashtra don't necessarily think so. See, Congress party and NCP has been in power for last 15 years. There was a sort of resentment or you can, you can call it anti-incumbency against the party in each and every community. Similarly, Muslims were not very happy. They were expecting something more from the Congress party. But Congress party is, was a neighbor either against Muslims or Hindus. We have always worked for every community. But in this election, the Muslim sentiments were instigated by MIM and there is no problem in it. If the Muslims are not happy, somebody is going to take their vote. But when you say Similarly, instigated, voters have a mind of their own. How can they be instigated? Same so then are you suggesting that the Congress was instigating the Muslims in the past? Same <laughs> instigation, one minute. Same instigation was engineered by Samajwadi party in 1995. Shiv Sena, BJP almost got sweeping results. but. Almost four seats were uh, uh, taken by uh, Samajwadi Party. Similarly, that kind of role has been played this time by MI. As far as identity politics is concerned, yes. if BJP claims yes. that they believe in developmental politics, they took support of Rashtriya Samaj Party, which is basically for Dhangar community reservation and their upliftment. They took support of Khap Panchayat chiefs in Haryana. They took support of <laughs> Baba Ram Rahim of Guru Sacha Sauda Sera, whatever it is, I don't remember. Yes. You you can't, like <laughs> can't claim that you are always, you are only for the development. Okay, but, let, me, let, so, let me just bring the in and then I'll come to you, Imtiaz. You know, I, I just feel like laughing when I hear this because actually the MIM is thanks to you guys always having played identity politics. So then they break away and they do their own thing. I know that this is about the MIM. No, I it's, it's about the MIM as a reference point for the place of identity politics in our political discourse. Is it subterranean, not as visible, but still very much there? I think that all those equations have broken down. 
Because what I noticed in the Lok Sabha election, as you may have done as well, yes. is that it crossed caste, it crossed religion, yes. and younger Absolutely. Indians are not interested in mosques Absolutely. and temples and all this kind of nonsense. So actually, the RSS, which is supposed to be the mothership of the BJP, has become a little submarine which is coming in under this <coughs> because it had lost its relevance. And the MIM is just cashing in on a little bit of, you know, Muslims are quite right to be afraid of the RSS. But it's interesting that you say that the RSS, in a sense, is becoming more irrelevant in the minds of the ordinary Indian. Yes. Would the BJP concede to that, Shaina? BJP you know, can't be all about development with its ideological no, mentorsing, no. all Indians are Hindus. Valka, I think we've been fighting this perception versus reality battle for the longest time. Right. The RSS minute, is okay. truly a nationalistic organization that believes in justice to all and appeasement to none. Dialogue Why do you read the Bajrang the, Dal and the Vishwan No, I'm Parishan. not talking about the Bajrang Dal. All the, the RSS. I am not talking, I am talking about the Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sangh. All along we have seen vote bank politics, divisive politics where people are appeasing sections of society. 2014 shows you that the youth is really not bothered. They only want to know so about So that's what Tabeen is saying. She is saying that's, that's what the young that's people exactly want. They point. don't want but the old ideology of the RSS once the parentship as it were of the BJP. Now Imtiaz as somebody who has been a former colleague at NDTV, you have made your debut with this uh, MIM uh, election. Respond to what Tabeen said. People today don't want to to talk about mosques and mandirs. They want to talk about roti kapra makan. Yet, uh, when um, uh, Asaduddin Ovesi was campaigning here in Maharashtra, he was exhorting voters to build thousands of mosques and saying, Har, har mosque ka naam a babri masjid rakhye. Now, the point is the MIM does stand for identity politics in a very open, unapologetic way. What is its place in modern India, even if there's a Hindu right? Is the answer a Muslim right? Well, Barkha, I totally agree with what Tavleen is saying. But what has happened over the years is that the definition of secularism according to the Congress and the NCP was if you don't vote for the Congress, if you don't vote for the NCP, then you are communal. And so far in all these years, there was no alternative. So the Congress and the NCP would say, if you don't vote for us, then see BJP will come to power. Mm. Then Shiv Sena will come to power. And this is how they have been taking votes from the Muslims, the Dalits and the other backward classes. People have realized they are being taken for granted. Look at the number of seats. The Muslim community are being represented in the assembly and the parliament. Sharad Pawar should make sure that at least one Muslim goes to the parliament the, from but Maharashtra. Is the, but is the answer to have a Muslim party for Muslims? Is this like a modern day Muslim league? But what is the problem, Barkha? If Yadavs can have Samajwadi party, if Bahujan Samaj can have Bahujan Samaj party, if Marathas can have Rashtrawadi Congress, then why? What is the problem with the country when four Muslims get together, the entire country is low? What is happening? Why Muslims are getting together? It's a valid We are just question. two MLAs that have come it's and the entire country now sees seems to be it's the biggest problem. Zafar Sareshwala, what's the problem? I'll uh, add what uh, Sanjay Nirupam ji said. He's forgotten that MIM for longest years has been an ally of Congress. Party. That's true. So, uh, <laughs> That's true. So when you talk about them instigating, for longest time. instigating so, voters, party please remember that. For the longest yes. time, you're an ally. Party for the so, <laughs> having said that, Barkha, this any identity will not work. Hmm. It could have worked 20 years back. Now it will not work. MIM, for example, you yes. know, in the present election, MIM party, I would put it in a different spectrum, but the candidates which they had put, for example, your own Kali, I mean, he was the only one in that constituency, he was unblemished. Second, Baikala candidate, Varis Pathan, he is a known lawyer in the high court, his father was a yeah. judge. People in that constituency in Baikala, not all Muslims have voted for him. For God's sake, if every single Muslim of Baikala would have voted for him, he would have had a resounding victory. Mm. So, people have voted for right people. Hindus or Muslims, they have same problem. A Hindu poor or a Hindu Muslim. He wants jobs, he wants education. But the political wants, rhetoric no, of the MIM uh, uh, will, will be will different. Not work. See, it will it's not work. This rhetoric will not work the kind it has not worked for uh, MNS. What happened? Last time they won 13 seats, this time they only won one seat. So it could have worked for B. You can take for God's sake BJP alone. What was BJP 20 years back? So Grave. you're basically saying voters are rejecting voters identity politics. Voters will reject people and the parties will have to reinvent themselves. I think in one okay. line it yeah. just means performance or perish. Said Mirza, do you then accept that the voter has changed, that India has changed? Because the ordinary Hindu and the ordinary Muslim have actually 
exactly the same expectations from their leaders. Do you agree? No, I, I think we are suffering from amnesia. This is the age of amnesia. If you see the journey historically of all these political parties, the NIM is, is the new kid on the block. Take the BJP. From 1984 onward, you just see the journey of these parties and you realize how identity politics actually gives you incredible benefits at the ballot. Even now? So, uh, even now, if, if, and if you happen to be the majority in terms of if, our identity politics of being Hindu, it gives you incredible benefits. Subterraneanly, no matter what people say over here, I believe it exists. You can talk about development, it is used beautifully, but simultaneously there are other satraps below the surface who have other agendas and they play it out on the fields of UP or Gujarat or, 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 or Maharashtra. And so what is the MIM? And also the MIM. What I'm getting at is what I'm getting at. Yes. This is, I think, an outcome. Are we aware, sitting here today, that since 1947 till 19, 2014, do you know the number of riots that have occurred in this country? Does anybody know over here? Small, minor, big scuffles, etc., to slaughter? It's more than 55,000. More than 55,000 riots. So let me continue. That so let me continue. That the the have argument changed. starts with Muslim identity politics primarily from here is. We all need to talk about education and jobs. I completely agree yeah. with it. But before all of that, how do you guarantee safety of life, home, property? Before all of this starts, look, my name is Saeed Mirza. Now I'm going to be branded. I can see the hate mail hitting me all, all across the board. I never was a Muslim. It's your I'm an atheist. Said. No, I'm it's an atheist. I, I, I was always, please, I think we need to see the nature of a sullen anger which exists in the minority community, it is not really obviously manifest and you see a few repercussions that come with things like the MIM. So, so may, may I just get Tavleen to respond to this, that the MIM is, is, is in a sense <coughs> a reaction to the fact that there is an absence of a sense of security with a dominant force where Saeed Mirza argues identity politics, even for the BJP, exists under the surface. It Absolutely. may be a good cop, bad cop act. It may have been outsourced to minor players, but it's there. I don't agree at all. Because if you listen to the speeches of Akbar Owaisi, particularly his speeches in Hyderabad, etc., that got him into trouble, uh, that yes. had him sent to jail, it was viciously anti-India that he was talking, right? So it does the right to point out that they've been an ally of the Congress Party. In Kerala, there's an army, a jihadi army, that is an ally of the Congress Party. What is a jihadi army? Yeah, there is no there party was, called no, jihadi army. No, no, they they are ally of the Congress. Alex, I'll clarify. There was a story in the newspapers last year of a training camp where jihadis were being trained. And it was an ally. I can't remember the name of the party. The what I'm saying, maybe what, an what, 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 what I'm saying That is not is Congress Party's ally. Is, 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 what I'm saying is, what we're saying, he said don't believe anything. everything you read in the it's papers. papers. But but that's the source of truth. But what I'm trying to say to you is that maybe we're witnessing the end of the Congress Socialist Secular the television Empire, screen. where secularism itself was defiled by the Congress Party to such an extent that somebody like Modi could rise and say, we won't talk about this anymore because it's wrong. I'm very sad that my old friend Saeed sees that it's just, you know, something that's renewal. It's I'm, not. Oh, the past I have, has, has Dublin, gone I away. have a point of view which is, believe in me, all identity politics, I think, is a gross... It's the end of in, it. No, it's the, it, it is an attack on the Constitution of India. Any we know but she agrees given. with you on that. But, but I think the disagreement is how, whether it's still alive and in what form. Sanjay, one line. Because of social conflicts, because of different social identities, identity politics is going to survive. Though it is bad, but you cannot say that it is over or it so will be over. No, I'm, I'm, though it's bad, I'm, I'm, I'm accepting it is bad, but you cannot <coughs> finish it. Okay, Kumar Ketkar and Ratan Sharda. Kumar, I'll start with you. Is there a declining space for identity politics? Well, actually, identities exist and we cannot obfuscate the issue. Absolutely. And we cannot discuss identity politics only in the context of MIM or Hindu-Muslim. Is Tamil an identity? How much noise we have made about Tamil identity? Yeah. Both the parties, DMK and Anna DMK, play upon Tamil politics, Tamil That's identity. Akali Dal also plays. But in Maharashtra, this the time, the Marathi Manustar did not work. The MNS and the Shiv Sena found that to talk India a different is a language. unique country in the world 
which has multiple identities and Congress was a federation of all those multiple identities. Yes. When Congress began to give up its role of being a federation of multiple identities, it began to have many, many parties with different identities. Till 1967, there was no Tamil party dominant in uh, Tamil Nadu. Okay. There was no Akali Dal for a long time. There was no Muslim politics and if Muslim politics was there, it was part of the Congress from all our days. Yes. The identities began to get separated from Congress because Congress began to give up the federation of identity politics. Identities cannot be wished away. Identities will exist. Whether identities become divisive, or should become divisive. That is a question and I think that will not last too long. What does this debut performance of the MIM say to you? I don't think it is communal because they had many Dalit candidates. They have been voted by uh, Hindus also in Baikala region. So MIM did not appeal only for Muslims, though MIM was voted in by Muslims. So MIM mind. is a Muslim party, MTR. Muslim in party. the way that the RSS is a Hindu organization, the MIM no, is a Muslim Barka, party. The fact, the fact eight, is, eight the, a section of the media is creating a monster out of this party. They are saying that now that MIM has come, there are going to be riots in Maharashtra. MIM the has thing not is, campaigned. Look at the number of Dalit candidates that MIM has fielded. Look no, at no, the Hindu MIM candidates. Been, but there voted. have been reports of anti-Hindu slogans at victory rallies of the MIM. Akbar Oasi went to jail for five months for a hate speech. So my question but to I you is, when you, we attack you show the me Hindu one right, don't where we, we have, have to attack made the Muslim right national statements. Yeah. We will leave, but we will take the Taj Mahal and, the, and what will be remaining here? Some broken temples, that's Akbar Oasi's speech. Uh, you, you just said anti-national statements. Anti Those are not anti-national statements. Sorry, what anti we are saying is, the contribution of the Muslims are being ignored in this country. Now okay. that is the, that is I the want issue. To get Shah Look at the number of Hindu candidates, even the MIM has fielded in Hyderabad. MIM fielded a Hindu candidate. She got elected against a Muslim candidate. So it's a it's a perception. It's it's a monster that is being created by some I of the media. I want, I, I want to bring Ratan Sharda. Now, Ratan Sharda, the question is this: Have parties like the MIM got a fillip because of the failure of the Congress or have they in part also been created by as what Tavleen calls the Muslims have a legitimate reason to fear the Hindu right? Identity politics is not something new. It is not started by MIM. It started way back in Khilafat Andulan, you know, which Congress supported. They supported orthodox Muslim, you know, orthodoxy Muslim, not the progressive Muslim. Okay. That is the reason why Jinnah got upset with uh, Gandhi to begin with. This was further, you know, if you look at IRDF, Assam's party, it has risen before MIM. It is purely based on Muslim votes. It is purely based on support for illegal Muslim migrants from Bangladesh. So this kind of, you know, the Muslim in Kerala, it's existing because of its identity. So IMIM is not some new monster you're talking about. It's just assertion of the identity of Muslims as they grow bigger in population, one thing. So what do you mean by as they grow bigger in population? See, their votes, there vote is bank no, becomes bigger. There is no so evidence. We, see, they are, what are they doing? They are appealing the vote bank or creating a fear psychosis, one. Secondly, if you look at the Sachar Committee report, 60 years of Congress rule, yeah. Muslims have suffered a lot. Look at the Muslim report in, Bangla, in West Bengal. Marxist rule stayed for 30 years and Muslims are the worst lot in the economy. This unhappiness with wrong notion of secularism where you can just pamper them for votes and don't give them anything in economic progress. That is the result why people like Amman so, so what I'm hearing you arguing is that there's been a historical trend of identity politics in different forms that even among Muslim it groups... It comes on and off. Sorry? It, say it will rise, it will fall. If the central party like Congress was powerful, identity politics dropped down. Okay. Now, if BJP has risen, identity politics slowly dropped down. But it will remain because if the grievance is genuine, Assam Gada Parishad, for example, rose, TDP rose, they rose because there are grievances. Now, Shaina, one of the criticisms against the BJP is that it has actually made no organizational effort to reach out to Muslim voters. If this election is about development, then development is a slogan that should touch all. But even in the number of tickets you give Muslim candidates, I think this time the BJP gave two, one was disqualified, so you ended up having one Muslim no, candidate. No, one. two tickets were given. Two tickets were given, one candidate got disqualified, one ended up fighting the election. Mr. Modi on the one hand made a very powerful statement saying Indian Muslims are so patriotic they will defeat the Al-Qaeda. But has the party made an organizational effort to reach out to Muslims? Barkha, I don't think it's about tokenism to say that I gave so many Muslims and that's why I'm for the community. It is your sentiment and 2014 Lok Sabha elections itself prove that the fact that we have won so many seats, it couldn't have been without the support of the Muslims, the Dalits, the Christians, etc. and so many constituencies. Even in Maharashtra, you will realize the fact that we're from 46 to 140, uh, 120. You're saying that there so has to be some Muslim support. There has been a lot of Muslim communities. One okay. point. Uh, in the 2014 Lok Sabha elections, when BJP contested so many seats and there was a Modi wave across the country, 
every tom dick and harry won that election except shanawaz hussain now what does what does that indicate shanawaz hussain happened to be a senior leader of the bjp so what do you what do you think it proves i i don't agree to the point that uh, muslims are supporting uh, bjp uh, bjp the or hindus are voting hindus different. are voting hindus <laughs> are voting for the muslim candidates because everybody wins except shanawaz zafar sureshwar the local issues there were this. totally different I, i'll tell you see the congress party for example which is thriving on muslim politics in last lok sabha there were 29 muslims barkha out of those 29 19 were such who did not speak a single word in 5 years and out of those 19 10 belong to congress party those muslims they are only rubber stamps and the only two people who spoke ever one was always oisi and second was shahnawaz in those days so muslims don't want these rubber stamps but shouldn't they have greater representation no, I, i'll tell you bjp will will check bjp after 5 years because what was the problem with the muslims in this country for 65 years the congress party and their supporters the allies they treated muslims as doormats i mean wherever they were used to count for votes they would think oh ye musliman to hamari jeb mein so muslims hamari jeb mein बीजेपी वुड थिंक मुसलमान हमको वोट नहीं करेंगे तो मुस्लिम्स हैड डबल वैमी द डे मुस्लिम स्टार्टेड वोटिंग फॉर बीजेपी दिस हैज हैपन नाउ एंड द डे दीज पीपल स्टार्टेड थिंकिंग दैट मुस्लिम्स कैन डिफीट देम नाउ द सिचुएशन विल चेंज तवलीद मच हैज बीन सेड अबाउट द कांग्रेस इज फेलियर द डिफाइलिंग ऑफ सेक्युलरिज्म ऑल ऑफ दैट बट डज द बीजेपी नाउ दैट इट इज रूलिंग द कंट्री ओए इट टू द माइनॉरिटीज ऑफ दिस कंट्री मुस्लिम्स और अदरवाइज टू मेक अ ग्रेटर एफर्ट to make themselves seem like an option for 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 them Without as well Without question and the only person in the bjp who has done it so far is the prime minister and but how unfortunately has he done it he's got this baggage he with him from the rss because the rss has shown no sign we were having i was having a discussion earlier for a start it's actually anti india the rss because indian studies they haven't supported indian classical institutes they don't support they just support issues the target minority community so you're saying the rss has become baggage for narendra modi yes at all ratan sharda would you agree yeah i am at right now i'm not interested in whether modi is a baggage for rss or rss is a baggage for modi you know <laughs> it's a waste waste of uh, arguments my point is it is RSS, not excuse me excuse me excuse me you're riding speak. in on Let his back i don't know who road who's back so please <laughs> I do. It's a mutual, you know, it's a mutual power. It's a mutual, you know, it's a mutual strength. Point mutual one. Mutual admiration. Yeah. Point. <laughs> RSS is uniting Hindus. 80 percent of India, even if you leave us another 20, are Hindus. Sir, but Hindu if the problem. RSS is uniting Hindus, so, then why criticize the MIM for uniting Muslims? Yeah. I'm not criticizing. Did, 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 did I? Did I? I didn't. You don't don't criticize. Criticize. No. criticize. No. Actually, I am saying MIM is the result of wrong policies of secularism. and not giving muslim due place in politics said mirzaan sanjeev so, I, 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 so it is not look being anti muslim or anything okay. it is a rhetoric that you okay, have we you know we lost poetry in this entire debate i think this nation has lost its sense of poetry beyond rss and congress and mim etc there was a sense of poetry of what made this country unique across the world we lost it we become bigoted narrow minded vicious and violent we talk about development that thousands upon thousands of riots that occur big small and different right now as we speak minor little skirmishes are already occurring in trilok puri because the elections are going to be occurring in delhi where are we heading ki school le bana rahe they talk about the policeman politics you're right the congress has played its role out so is the bjp and so so perhaps will the mim play its yeah. role out yeah but my argument is somewhere else you judge a nation's civility and its dignity by how it treats its weakest sections and do you give them their dignity okay shaina before you come kumar it kumar that is that that is a lament but the fact is it runs completely counter to the other arguments being made that india is changing well actually this development which has become a new buzzword presumes that there was no development for last 65 years Absolutely. which is completely absurd totally absurd so much development has taken place on which modi and bjp are riding the point is development is a text the subtext is communalism hindu communalism why modi did not stop yogi adityanath in up why narendra modi did not stop all the communal campaign in muzaffarnagar so let us and not I'd be like fooled. to add something more let us not be fooled by this language of development i want china to respond i want china to respond china china one more thing to okay, okay. candidate okay. don't right of congress party in <laughs> 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 the debate questions anybody yeah the bjp chief mr 
Amit Shah. Amit Shah. Amit Shah. There are serious charges of him against him leveled in court right now. So let's China bail. respond to this. China, China, many. Bail. Okay, one minute, one minute. Many, many different questions raised here. In particular, that the BJP looks the other way when some of its fundamentalist leaders are set free, like a Yogi Adityanath. But Barkha, let me please say, when we talk about development, does it segregate to say the development is only for Hindus and not for Muslims and not for the economically poor? What has the Congress done for 60 years? You've made sure that the economically downtrodden and come on, continue Narendra to Modi stay claims there. Martian One adventure. Second. Even Martian Modi adventure Modi claims to himself, which has been completely project launched by Nehru and uh, performed by Dr. Manmohan Singh. Who will try to continue cherry pick and pick on incidents which have taken place as stray incidents. Do I say that that is right? No. Does Modi ji say it's right? It's not. He is talking about taking this country forward, not on freebies and SOPs and subsidies, but by empowering every single Indian. Okay, my question is, we started off discussing the MIM, Tavleen, we're back to discussing Narendra Modi. There are those who think there is a link between the fundamentalists on this side and the fundamentalists on this side, that they are mirror images of each other, the Yogi Adityanath uh, mirrors an Akbaruddin Oasi. I think it's more complicated than that. I think that the, because the Congress party distorted all ideas of secularism, uh, you know, let's never forget 1984, and oh, I'm yes. saying this yes. as a Sikh, the worst pogrom in the history of India, it was in 2002, because Hindus and Muslims died. In Delhi, only six died at the ha hands of the Indian state. And no justice has been done. It's 30 years since that horrible event. So because of that distortion, you got the rise of the BJP in the first place with the Ayodhya movement. Yeah. But I really believe that this Lok Sabha election, the voter has shown that he it's has gone job. ahead of the yeah. political I party. I hope you're right. Okay. And the only pol politician who's picked that up is Narendra Modi, which is why he got I'll let Sanjay Nirupam come in in just a moment, but there's a question here. Yes. You were uh, belonging to a secular party. You had come up with a Sachar committee stating that uh, the representation of Muslims in the bureaucracy was 2.5%, whereas the population of Muslims is 14% in India. So why wasn't the recommendations of the Sachar committee implemented during your regime? Sanjay Nirupam, I think it's an indication of a cynicism that a Muslim voter note, feels. Add, let him, let him just ask. himself is a product of identity politics. Who? Sorry? So. sorry, sorry, sorry. On a lighter note, Sanjay Nirupam himself is a product of identity politics of Shiv Sena. Earlier from, the, Shiv, earlier from the Shiv Sena, let's not forget. Another committee <laughs> to answer that question. Okay, but, but speaking, <laughs> speaking today as a congressman. Okay. Sachar committee was uh, constituted by Congress government or UPA government and the idea behind that was to find out the reasons, problems of the Muslim community and it was rightly found out. A 15 point program was planned, it was implemented, the whole target was the upliftment of Muslim community and lot of things has been done but still lot of things has to be done. Barka, this was, that was the biggest sham because such a report, let's listen, such a committee report was a diagnostic report. For God's sake, how is this doctor who has got my report, that I have a lot of blood, my diabetes, my sugar, and they are not acting on it. So they are waiting for me to die. And I want to go a little deeper than this. The genesis of Maharashtra. Sir, you win the genesis, we win, we win, we win, we win. No, no. You win, we win, we win, we win, we win. Okay, okay. You are a doctor that my report has you. And you don't have to do it. I'm doing one thing. You win, we are the best. No, no, I didn't win. I'm asking you. What is the issue? Sorry, I didn't have five years. After 1947, Congress was in power in India and several states. Yes. And we really worked hard. And whatever has happened in India, that is only because of Congress party. And that's why whatever has not happened in India, Congress party is responsible for that. And that is what being spread all over the community, all over the society. Okay. And that is okay. what I has have been to take, done I have to take a question now. I have to take a question here. Yes. As a youth in India, I'm saddened by the fact that uh, the coming of BJP to power is associated with Ache Din. Just today morning I was reading the newspaper and I read Devendra Fadnavis, the chief minister, has cases of riots registered against him. I'm also, glad you read that okay, question. Let, let, her, let her respond. Because do a little bit of reality check on Devendra Fadnavis and you will find out that he is the cleanest politician in Maharashtra. If you agitate on the streets for a cause, do you know that you are arrested? 
if you agitate for something against that the government, that is right case. One second, in that by that count, I have been arrested on so many counts. So you need to really segregate as to what is a criminal offence. Is it rape, murder, kidnapping, etc., or has it been for some kind of activism? This debate will go on. Let's take another question. Okay, I think the winning of the Muslim party is important for bigger conflicts of uh, growing uh, protectionism, racism, sons of soil policy, which we've seen these in recent times. Uh, my question is, what is your take on uniform civil code? Once again, now that's a whole different show. <laughs> but I want, to get, I want to get Imtiaz in on this point, that the rise of a party like the, uh, the MIM is basis for deeper conflict. Do you endorse the hate speech of Akbar Oasi, your leader? I know I'm putting you in an awkward position, but you've been a journalist. As a journalist, we would have criticized somebody like Akbar Oasi for that speech. Today, you're contesting on the same party. Can you criticize the Praveen Togadyas or the Yogi Dityanaths of the world if you also do not criticize Akbar Oasi's hate speech? Barkha, I don't want to name anybody, but we respect the constitution. We respect the rule of the law. The thing is, if anybody, if Imtiaz Jalil speaks anything against anyone, there should be a frame. You can't cross that line. If I have crossed that line, please, for God's sake, take action against me. But please did Akbar Oasi cross that line? Let the case be decided, let didn't the case Akbar, be decided in the court Akbar as soon as possible. That? Unless and until action is taken, these things will continue. Did Akbar Oasi not cross the same line that we accuse a Praveen Togadya or a Yogi Adityanath of crossing? I mean, Barkha, no, no, Barkha. there's a difference. Please, well, what is there's the difference? A difference what is between, the difference? There's a difference between Togadia and Asaduddin Oasis speeches. Asaduddin Oasis uses choicest, choicest abuses for fellow Muslims. Whoever is outside his thinking, so that is the difference. At least Togadia doesn't use such kind of abuse when for you Hindus. Say, as Akbar yeah, Oasi did, yes. Akbar Oasi, in that speech that sent him to jail, he said there was nothing in India till the Muslims came. And if we go anywhere, we will take the Taj Mahal and the Red Fort, and there'll be nothing left of India. Meaning, he of spat it. upon Indian uh, civilization. That is anti-national. When you say that there's nothing in India see, except Islam and Islamic culture, that is anti-India. There is something Ma very overt. There is something covert. In Kerala, for example, this Ramzan, in all the four Muslim-majority districts, midday meal was stopped. It was not covered by media. Nobody else. It was covered by one people. Midday meal was stopped in four of the Muslim majority districts. Was it not a kind of covert, you know, suppression of the people's need for nutrition? No. What was it? But the administration could have easily taken action and I totally Admin agree with what Savlin is saying. Please, for God's sake, take Admin, action. Admin, Admin, there, there are okay, come on, come on. There are people in the but country. But Togadia openly also says Muslim. that cooperative housing societies should not should give membership to Muslims. I think why, the, why is it so? Only, only Akbar Uddin Awaisi goes in for two but, 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 Kumar, Kumar, Kumar. Togadia made a public statement which was televised that don't allow Muslims to become members of your society, housing society. And he doesn't go in jail even for my question, my question, my question, is, my question but, but Kumar, are these, but are these mirror images of each other, are these the same kind of, of politics, course, yeah. whether it's Hindu or Muslim, are they the same kind of politics? Inevitable, the mirror image is inevitable, the moment one communalism starts, other communalism will begin. Okay. Akbar Udin Uvesi will go to jail for 15 days, to Gandhi will never go to jail for even one day. This is the balance. Exactly. This is what they're saying. Shad, Why this discrimination? If Akbar Avesi can go them. to jail for two months, a plague and on there all are of cases them. pending in Maharashtra against Praveen Sogar. Okay, Shaina, quick go response, then I've got to go to a break. There are 100 cases against Okay, you're all speaking together. Zafar, Zafar Sareshwala, you're from, you know Gujarat well. Praveen Sogar and Narendra Modi have been at loggerheads for years. Go ahead with your comment. See, I'll tell you, you know, Gujarat was a tinderbox, you know. In prior to 2002, every two years there used to be a massive riot. After 2002 till 2014, for 12 years, there was not a single day of riot except and last was, month. Except last, last month. That was also very our minor skirmish, minor skirmish, <laughs> minor skirmish. Now, Togadias of the world were totally decimated in Gujarat. And you know, this Toga, Mr. Togadia used to give this hate speeches not in Gujarat. All his hate speeches were outside Gujarat. No, no, no. Even yes. in Gujarat. No, no, no. Even in, no, Gujarat. in, 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 in those speech years. against Muslims allowed that that was allowed in Gujarat. Okay, 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 okay. One minute, one minute. Who, who was not arrested? Somebody was not arrested. One minute, one minute. Ratan Sharma, are you trying to say something? Who was not arrested? Shahi Imam, Delhi. He has a lot of cases against him. One minute. Read his law. Have to be strong. Yeah. Police has to be depoliticized. Whoever breaks the law, arrest him. 
all the times Shiv Sena or BJP they claim that whenever they come to power, no right take place. The point is they are the perpetrators of right. If they are in the power, who is going to... But the 92-93 riots may be sitting in Mumbai happen when the Congress is coming to Maharashtra. Whenever they are in opposition... Excuse me, let's not forget that. One minute, one minute. Remember the Sri Krishna Commission had to be happened when the Congress was... Barakap, whenever... Can you see what happened when the Congress was... Can I explain myself? Okay, okay, okay. Can I explain myself? Okay, okay. Whenever BJP is not in power, riots take place there. But when the Congress is in power... Whenever we are yes, there are government. aberration as far as the Congress party is concerned. Okay, I let but, the... But BJP, BJP survived on that in those... I've got to take a break, but Tavin, quick, quickly to yeah, that and a question here. I don't think here. you know how many riots have taken place. Say it, please. I yeah. know, I know. Okay. Don't teach me all these things. <laughs> no, <laughs> try to understand. Try to understand the basic, you must basic analyze. structure of BJP and RSS. Okay, let Tavin speak. Let Tavin speak now. But but Sanjay, you made your point. Sanjay, this is why the Congress has lost. What happened? What happened? The, the, the brand of politics, the yes. brand of politics of RSS and BJP is nothing but polarization. Okay, Order. okay, now you've gone on, uh, on a long time, Tavleen, go ahead. I'm astounded. What happened in 1984 in Delhi? Or 92, Baba. What, what, what happened? Everybody knows. That I know, Baba. What about <laughs> Meerat, Moradabad, Rampur, I mean Bhagalpur. How can you even talk about Bhagalpur is no Okay, 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 okay. No, no, no. I'm it's interrupting you, Sanjay. Most Sanjay, not a very effective it's argument. I'm going to take a question. With all due respect, sir, having been such a responsible journalist in the past, uh, isn't it just saying an eye for an eye when you when you argue on behalf of Mr. OSC and say that why shouldn't Togadia go to jail? Aren't we not looking at who should go to jail, but rather uh, the whole idea of equalizing and making it less? Okay, okay, let's take another. Mr. Zafar, do you think that BJP is anti-Muslim? Uh, uh, Zafar Sarish Pala is BJP anti-Muslim? Yeah, once Answer upon that. a time, once upon a time, about 20 years back. BJP's plank was anti-Muslim. In 1992, Babri Masjid, Anwani was there, Ruma yes, Bharti yes, was there. I'm, I'm saying, yes. It's it is not... No, I'm saying, yes. yes. Okay, let him answer. Kumar Kumar, let him answer. But they campaigned on the basis of Mandir yes. in 98, 99. Yes. Okay, 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 let him yes, answer. Yes, it was. But as I said, you need to reinvent. And one, you have to give credit to Mr. Modi. Mr. Modi has brought BJP out of that abyss. Are yes. you sure? Yes, I am sure, absolutely. <laughs> BJP was anti-Muslim, its plank was anti-Muslim. Mohan Bhagwan gave a speech. I don't Bhagwan see, I don't see. 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 Okay, I have to take a break. Modi has not done that. Okay, we're taking a break. Okay, okay, we're taking a break. We're taking a break. When we come back, last comments. A complete division on this panel on the power of identity politics, some believe it's still very much there, alive and kicking. Others say it's on a sharp decline. What does the MIM represent? Does it not represent a kind of identity politics? And if so, is that a healthy option for India's Muslims? Coming back for final comments after the break. The Muslim community, the Dalits have realized that we are not getting the due that we should have got okay. by the so-called okay, secular so you're, parties. Okay, so you're agreeing that the, uh, uh, that the so-called secular parties, so yeah. it's interesting that the exact same phrase is used by the Hindu parties and the Muslim parties for secularism today is, 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 has become one of the most abused uh, words, abused political concepts. Unfortunately. unfortunately, secularism has been abused yeah. yes. and not only by Congress party but by everybody. Narendra Modi refuses to wear skull cap of Muslims but doesn't mind wearing skull caps of any other religion. Welcome back. You're watching We the People from Mumbai. We're debating what the successful debut of the Hyderabad-based MIM represents for politics in India. Before we take final comments from our panel, let's just take a quick uh, couple of questions. Uh, I just wanted to ask the Congress party, why are you blind to the fact that it is not a victory of the MIM, but it is a loss, it is a failure for the Congress party? That, that's a good point. Let's take another question here. Not so much a victory for the MIM, but a failure of the Congress. 
I think with the rise of a Muslim party, uh, will it not lead to a counter polarization of the Hindu votes towards a Hindu right? And is that not bad for the Muslims themselves because it will result in a consolidation of a Hindu vote uh, vote bank? In their quick response to that, how is this a healthy option for the Muslim voter? Do they really need a Muslim party? Barkha, let me tell you, MIM wouldn't have got the response that it got in this election if the Congress and the NCP, who traditionally treated Muslims and the Dalits and the other backward classes as their vote bank, without actually giving them share in the power. If they had done that, MIM would not have found any space in Maharashtra. Because they have not done that, we had to come here. And the response that we got was simply because of the fact that the Muslim community, the Dalits have realized that we are not being get, getting the due that we should have got okay. by the so-called okay, secular so you're, parties. So you're agreeing that the, uh, uh, that the so-called secular parties, so yeah. it's interesting that the exact same phrase is used by the Hindu parties and the Muslim parties for Secularism today is, 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 has become one of the most abused uh, words, abused political concepts. Unfortunately. unfortunately, secularism has been abused, yeah. yes. and not only by Congress party, but by everybody. Narendra Modi refuses to wear skull cap of Muslims, but doesn't mind wearing skull caps of any other religion. Tavid that means clearly, that. clearly, will this baggage continue to haunt Narendra Modi? He discriminates against Muslims, so it will have Okay, Tavli. Only for Kumar Kekar. <laughs> I don't think it matters anymore. It does matter. I Identity matters. Okay, okay, let us speak. Let us speak. Identity matters. Identity matters. Identity matters. Identities cannot be wished away. Okay, Identity but, should okay, not be because used for a start, politics. No, one okay. moment. If you start off on 2002, you have to remember what the Congress's record has been in killing Muslims. It's been much, much better. Okay? Surely you mean it's been much worse. Much worse. worse yeah. <laughs> much better at the, at the record. Ironic. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, but but this, is all, this is all back to action reaction politics. But listen, that you acted like this, so no, no, we no, acted like rubbish. this. This no, is dangerous. Nonsense, In fact, no. Narendra Modi said it is action reaction nonsense. politics. I can't argue with nonsense. But, so did, but so did Rajiv thing. Gandhi. I'm not, so did Rajiv Rajiv Gandhi. I'm not defending Modi or the BJP. What I am saying is because secularism has been poisoned by the secular parties, you will get little things like the MIM. But I don't think it's a threat to India. Uh, okay, last two questions here. Yeah, go ahead. As MIM one, based on communalism and identity politics, would it move forward and the agenda would, you know, the vision would widen to secularism now? Trust me, after 19th October, when the results came out, I have been moving around. I have been going to non-Muslims and telling them they, now the politics has to end. We have to work for the development. And we, when we are talking but about development, but wasn't one we are of the not slogans, just talking about development of the Muslims. But wasn't one of the slogans of the in this campaign to build a thousand mosques? But Barkha, tell me. Had, what, had a Hindu politician said build a thousand temples, we would have pounced on them. Barkha, so what, be what is the problem the if, if Aurangabad builds, builds a mosque? and names it after Babri Masjid because Babri Masjid was a symbol in India which was demolished. If you so have tomorrow MBC somebody will say build a, thousand, is the big build a thousand temples and name them Ram Mandir. See, ironically, Bar 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 ironically Barkha, we there are already several. There are, I mean you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Ram I'm saying thing. is this what voters need? The problem is everybody is thinking that MIM is a Muslim party. You please go through the details of MIM. You'll find so many Dalit candidates. And Hindu. Tell me one political party in Maharashtra, which has had three consecutive mayors, Dalit mayors in Hyderabad Municipal Corporation. Okay, okay, listen, and I'm out of time. That it's I'm, out, I'm, I'm out of time. Party. I'm going to take two questions together and the last comments from all of you. Yeah. The Muslims basically need a better life. They want progress. But why is it that Akbaruddin Owaisi still has to say, let's build thousand mosques? Can't you also follow the same development rhetoric? But if the Hindu party is saying that let's build thousand Ram temples, you also have to say let's build thousand. Okay, so okay, let's park that. Imtiaz, in Imtiaz, you could have said let's build a thousand hospitals. That, I think that's the point. Let's take a uh, comment here. Uh, sir, you said that Narendra Modi took out the whole anti-Muslim image from the BJP. But you look at the Lok Sabha election results this time, which has 4% Muslim representation, which is actually the lowest in the Indian uh, democratic history. Okay, these are yeah, last comments. 30 seconds each, please. I'm out of time. See, I'll tell you, uh, coming to the moot point. Yes. Earlier, identity politics cannot work. Maybe initially it would have started, but ultimately people, Jalil and also Baikala candidate Waris Pathan, yeah. after five years people will ask him, Okay. What have you done for the constituents? Okay, so, so that's a good want, point that even if you get voted in on the basis of identity, will you will be measured by performance. On your performance. Okay, Ratan Shah, the last comment very I'm briefly. Talking sir. about MIM, you know, not a threat at all. I'll ask him if he believes in Sarva Dharma Sambhav, which is basically respect for all religion. Does he Definitely. believe that truth can be owned by everybody? All gods are equal if he believes that because Islam doesn't believe this. If he believes this, no, no, there Islam is no problem. 
there is no problem with uh, the kind okay, of politics they play. Okay, quick, quick, quick response yes, to that. Yes, definitely we respect all religions and I have been telling people that once elections are over, please for God's sake, forget about politics. Get together <laughs> to work for the country. I am an Indian first and then a Muslim. Okay. I am a true nationalist. Okay. Said Said Mirza, you're you're in a sense the most cynical on this panel about where we're headed. Why do you not the feel? Muslim, why do you not feel the that the church? No, the question is why do you not feel? What is coming among all these Muslims? Where are we at? And I tell you, future. As we talk about development, are we aware of the number of jobs that can that are actually being created? And the number of people coming out of you know tenth, twelfth, and and uh, university and they're looking for work. I worry about the social forces that are going to be released when that tension mounts up and that social tension mounts up and what are the forces that are, that are going to be released to, to counter okay. basic angst of the people of India beyond Muslims and Hindus and Sikhs and Christians it worries me. China, are we, turn, are we looking away from these simmering tensions? I think India has always wanted strong leaders, has been inspired by charismatic leaders but in the 21st century, there's one difference. You could be a fabulous Hindu leader, a fabulous Muslim leader, but if you don't perform, you clearly perish. Look at our last election, Raj Thakre, the entire yeah. uh, hysteria. He won 13 seats. Today, he's not even won. What yeah. is the reason and the logic? That's a good point. The voter is extremely intelligent and religion, we could be discussing. They want jobs, infrastructure. Sanjay, is that a lesson for the Congress that government. secularism can no longer be the slogan to distinguish you, that you count on that to be the distinguishing feature alone? No, secularism is not just slogan for Congress party. It is it's our, not? No, not at all. It is just a slogan. It is our fundamental ideology. Look at the scene. A party which is only talking about Hindus claim to be secular. Another party which is only talking about Muslims no, we are claim not talking to be only about secular. Muslims. We are not talking only about Muslims. This is, this is injustice to me. No. Okay. This is injustice to me. Okay. And Congress, party, Congress party, Congress party, Congress party, Congress party, Congress party, which is, which is taking care of Hindus and Muslims and other communities. But nobody is voting for you. But only they have taken care of. This is injustice to me. Let me complete. You can't keep playing the victim card. No, 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 no